Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Fresh Fruit Magazine, reporting to you from Stockton, where cherry growers gathered for their annual cherry research review. This event provided them with a great opportunity to meet together and learn how to improve their orchard management practices, backed up by research funded to the UC Cooperative Extension. One of these researchers, Doug Gubler, addressed growers today on canker disease control in sweet cherry orchards. If you look at the overall symptomatology of canker diseases, we have limb dieback, uh, cankers uh, in, the, in the vascular system, uh, seen on cross-sectioning, rupturing of bark, exudation, and gumming. And these, these are kind of common across all the canker diseases. The fungal diseases that uh, I've been working on are canker disease fungi that get in through pruning wounds and and cause a lot of damage in the tree that result in uh, scaffold branch removal or tree removal. And so it's important to, to uh, be, able, be able to recognize what they're dealing with when they're pruning the tree. And internal discoloration in, in branches and twigs is really important because you need to keep cutting until you get away from that in order to get that out of the tree and then get that wood out of the orchard. Uh, fungicides can be used. Uh, we've got Vetasil, which is a, an organic product that can be diluted and sprayed by tractor. And we like to see uh, Rally and Topsin M included in that spray program because it gives you a, a more rapid kill of the pathogen. So other than the foliar diseases, uh, these are very important, and I think uh, maybe even more important today than some of the foliar diseases. Uh, timing of application is, is after pruning. Uh, if, if we're in pruning in the winter and we have rain or fog, it's important to get the, the treatments on immediately after pruning. If uh, summer pruning, uh, it's important to put those treatments on before sprinkler irrigation or it's actually better to prune after sprinkler irrigation in the summer, after harvest. So uh, before they need to be applied before a wet period occurs because that causes spore release of the pathogens. Thank you, Doug. Learn more about improving the health and management of your cherry orchards by reading California Fresh Fruit Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.